Good morning and welcome to the week six fourth Q in home training video. This is for Patrick Shannon. Mr. Patrick, good morning, sir. I hope you're well. And you and I are going to continue. We started this uh, Thursday night, but off and on over the last year, year and a half, you and I have had an on and on, on again, off again discussion about CoQ breathing. So we're going to continue that discussion and take it to a, a deeper level. And we're also going to start working more specifically on the Sanshin stance. Now, if you remember, on the week one or week two fourth Q video, we spoke about the Sanshin stance. Uh, uh, yes, the Sanshin stance. But now we're going to start truly combining the Sanshin stance and CoQ breathing as we prepare you for the Sanshin kata. Now, as I mentioned to you the other night, the Sanshin kata is hands down the most historical kata I've ever researched. I can honestly trace that back to the early 1800s. And Sanshin was a make it or break it type kata. Back in, back in those days, if you did Sanshin poorly, people didn't take you seriously. Your performance of the Sanshin kata was extreme and your reputation hung on it. The Sanshin kata is also a cornerstone kata of the Goju organization. However, the Sanshin kata is also practiced amongst many different martial arts styles. And as in being the most historical kata I've ever researched, it is a very cornerstone kata for the martial arts in general. So it's important that when we study Sanshin, that we do it properly and that we give it the level of respect, but most importantly, the level of intensity that it deserves. So we're going to continue our study of the Sanshin stance and CoQ breathing. And what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss different exercises that you can do to develop your, your Sanshin stance, but also to develop your CoQ breathing. Now remember that the Sanshin stance, my feet are shoulders width wide. My lead foot, my heel, and my toe are equal to one another. My feet are shoulders width apart and they are bent outward at a 45 degree angle and both knees are bent. When I step forward, I bring the heel of my rear foot up to the big toe of my lead foot and then back out at a shoulders, I'm a shoulders width wide and I'm a shoulders width deep in here. And if I move backwards, I bring my lead toe to my rear heel coming back a shoulders width and locking out. So with that being said, we're going to practice the Sanshin Kata, this time starting first with a double Chudan Uki. Here we go. We're going to step forward. Start first with light CoQ breathing. And then step forward again. Stepping backwards. Stepping backwards again. Notice that whichever foot is in front is the hand that blocks on top. So this time I'm going to step forward with the double chewed on Uki, except this time I'm going to breathe even harder. And when I'm exhaling, I'm not just making a lot of noise with my throat. Every muscle in my body needs to contract. My toes and my heels should be gripping the floor. My calves or my gastrocnemius muscles need to tighten and pull my knees in. My hamstrings and, and gluteus all need to pull together, bringing my hips forward. My lower abdomen or my hara all the way up to my diaphragm needs to push in an upward and outward direction. My chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps should all be flexing in this manner. So we're gonna, this time we're gonna breathe with a medium CoQ breathing and contract a little bit harder. Moving forward. Again. Moving backwards. One more time. This time we're gonna do the exercise with as much power and as much force and as much intensity as I'm able to do. 
This time, when you contract from the floor to the top of your head, put everything behind it and don't let anything be loose. You should be extremely hard during the lockout process. This is the extreme go of Goju. So here we go. Are you ready? Moving forward. And relax. So, this exercise will really get the heart pumping. And if you do it 15, 20 minutes into it, it's quite the cardiovascular workout. Continue this exercise two steps forward, two steps back with the double chewed on block. When you're done with that, do it this time with Mawasha Ukis. Two steps forward, light, medium, hard. Two steps backwards, light, medium, and hard. When you're done with that, step forward, load both hands, and palm heel strike to the face. Step forward, palm heel strike to the face. Step backwards, palm heel strike to the chest. Step backwards, palm heel strike to the chest. Light CoQ breathing, medium CoQ breathing, heavy CoQ breathing. All three exercises, up and back is one, 10 times each. So you're going to do 30 double chudons, 30 mawasha ukis, 30 um, palm heel strikes. All right, yes, 10 soft, 10 medium, 10 hard double chudon, 10 soft, 10 medium, 10 hard mawasha ukis. 10 soft, 10 medium, 10 hard palm heel strikes. Up and back, up and back, up and back. Remember that with each step, you have to become progressively harder. Think about your stance and make sure that your feet are gripping the floor and everything from the floor to the top of your head is locked out. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you Tuesday and Thursday at the live feed classes. And I hope you're well and safe and have a great weekend.